Amphibians have been on the planet for approximately 300 million years. These are intriguing species that contribute to biodiversity balance and the ecosystem's health. But sadly, the number of endangered amphibians is increasing. Amphibians are predators and prey. They consume pest insects, which aids in farming and helps prevent disease transmission. There are around 8,000 species of amphibians worldwide. Amphibians include newts, salamanders, Sicilians, and frogs. However, over 120 species are believed to have vanished, and more are on the verge of extinction in the last several decades. Since the 1950s, the populations of amphibians have dropped substantially worldwide, including in national parks and forests. This widespread decrease of amphibians results from human-induced factors from logging, urban development, and changes in their habitat. One in every three amphibians is now threatened with extinction. If you're curious about which amphibians are endangered, here's a list of 10 amphibians that are endangered. List of endangered amphibians. One, Sierra Nevada, yellow-legged. Frog scientific name, Rana sierrae. It is a yellow-legged frog that was once one of the most common frog species in California and Nevada. Today, the Sierra Nevada yellow-legged frog is threatened with extinction. From above, it seems to be yellowish or reddish-brown with black or brown patches or lichen-like markings. They are highly aquatic and are constantly seen within a meter or two of the water's edge. It has vanished from over 90% of the lakes it formerly called home. The frog is primarily found in the Sierra Nevada's lustrous mountains. The Sierra Nevada yellow-legged frog was listed as an endangered species due to a lethal fungus spread throughout the Sierra Nevada mountains. This fungus is called chytrid, and it is an infectious sickness that affects up to 100 amphibians on a global scale. It has wiped out the frog population in recent years. Pesticides derived from the Central Valley of California also contribute to the species decline. The chemicals carried by the wind collect in the high mountains and are finally drawn towards the lakes and streams where the frogs live, breed, and raise toads. To add to the struggles of this frog species were the non-native trout, a freshwater fish. It has been put into the frog's normally fishless alpine lakes. These invasive fishes are opportunistic feeders of tadpoles and have the potential to wipe out entire frog populations. Two, California red-legged frog, Scientific name, Rana Draytoni. California red-legged frogs are among the most prominent native amphibians found in the Western United States, primarily in California. Despite their substantial size, the fascinating frog species have been eliminated from more than 70% of their previous habitat and are now classified as endangered. Its reddish brown identifies it to salmon pink hues. Additionally, they have dark tiger stripes on their legs and a robust, garlicky stench when closed to the frog or handled. Although huge females are capable of collecting and eating prey, the frog's main diet consists of invertebrates as big as mice and smaller frogs. During mating, males use a low, burbling, and laughing sound to entice females to mate in meandering streams. The California red-legged frog can lay approximately 2,000 eggs. Causes of decline. California red-legged frogs wreaked havoc on their habitats. Invasive predators, including mosquito fish, bullfrogs, as well as crayfish, are increasing in number. Contamination of their freshwater environments was one of the factors that contributed to this frog species' difficulty to live and raise toads. Contamination of their freshwater environments was one of the factors that contributed to this frog species' difficulty to live and raise toads. California's community and government are working to protect these frogs and other native amphibians by safeguarding wetlands. Three, Chiricahua leopard frog. Scientific name, Rana chiricahuensis. Chiricahua leopard frogs are a fascinating species with generally green skin, black leopard-like patterning, and golden eyes. It is often found in places in the northern part of Mexico and the southwestern United States. Sadly, it is now part of the endangered amphibians. In the 1990s, a chytrid fungus was found to be responsible for a considerable number of dead frog species. It is also the reason for the high fatality rate of frogs in eight different locations around Arizona. It is the same fungus that endangered the yellow-legged frog of the Sierra Nevada and other amphibians. Apart from the chytrid fungus, people have also contributed to the demise of this intriguing frog species. 
For years, about 100 million amphibians have been transported across continents to be used as food, pet, and used as bait. Other amphibians are also shipped for laboratory industries. These animals were shipped without a bit of disease testing or quarantine. Sick frogs infect natural populations, particularly Chiricahua leopard frogs. Genetic evidence reveals that the Chiricahua leopard frog species also include the Ramsey Canyon frog, a group of frogs native to southern Arizona, notable for their underwater calling ability. Another genetically separate population of Chiricahua frogs lives in central Arizona. They have nearly vanished from their native area. They are now being produced in captivity by conservation centers and groups dedicated to raising awareness about the plight of Chiricahua leopard frogs. C. Related. Types of bears. From around the world. 4. Axolotl. Scientific name, Ambistoma mexicanum. The axolotl is a wonderfully fascinating salamander and amphibian, but unfortunately, it is currently considered one of the world's endangered amphibians. It possesses a unique characteristic in that it retains its larval characteristics throughout the adult years, including retaining its tadpole-like dorsal fin. Most of the time, it is black in hue with greenish modeling, with some individuals having silvery flashes on their skin. Axolotls have a big heads with fluffy gills that wave gently in the water, which gives them their distinctive appearance. This species is further distinguished by its external gills, which extend from the back of its broad head. Xochimilco Lake Complex in Mexico City is the only place where you can find this species. Axolotls are distinct from most salamanders in that they spend their whole lives submerged in water. In addition to living for up to 15 years, they are a carnivore that feeds primarily on crustaceans, larvae, mollusks, and other worms. The primary dangers to this species' lake habitat are the primary dangers to this species' survival are the introduction of enormous fish into this species' lake habitat and the draining and polluting of most of their habitat's water system. In addition, predatory birds such as herons, where they face challenges from the environment. Axolotl populations are also declining in Mexico, where some are regarded delicacies, and as a result, they have been designated as critically endangered species. 5. Arroyo toad. Scientific name, Bufo californicus. The arroyo toad, which ranges in hue from greenish gray to olive or tan, is a sturdy small frog with a flattened face resembling a pug. The arroyo toad is a magnificent frog, but its population is dwindling. Due to the toad's highly specialized ecological requirements, are only found in Southern California and Mexico's Baja California. Unfortunately, the arroyo toad is on the verge of extinction due to invasive plants and animals, loss of habitat, habitat contamination, and running dry streams due to climate change. To breed effectively, the arroyo toad needs rivers with low flow or stream during the springtime mating season, but the challenges posed by human-raised toads make this more difficult. C-related, animals that start with X.